So here's where we stopped last time. I'm going to hit Alt Shift D to delete history and let's just make a quick hemisphere or two for the eyes. And so we wanna make these. The fastest way I've found to attach different surfaces is usually by working in units of eight. So I'm Shift greater than sign to grow selection. Now we've got this we can use for the base of an eye. And what we're going to do is we're going to stage it so that the octopus has like eyes like here and here. Um, the other thing is we could probably just tweak out this. So I hit B for soft selection mode. And really the octopus has sort of this bulbous head thing going on. And um, I'm doing this, actually, let's, because we want it to be facing in order to, for it to be sort of more correct, I want it to be here, so probably, um, 22.5 units. So now it's lined directly center here, so now I'm going to reselect this, and we will also freeze transform so that I can, um, so it'll be easier to just work right along the axis uh, here. So I just bent that. And now I can add an eyeball um, like here and here. And so the idea is that it's really easy to add an eight in between um, uh, a grid of four polygons on each side. So maybe one here and one here. So what I'll do is I'll select this vertex and I'm gonna turn off soft selection by hitting B and I'm gonna convert that selection to faces and then just delete. And so now it almost looks like he's smiling. <clears throat> I'm gonna rotate this and just snap it a little bit close. I'm gonna hold down the uh, V key I'm trying to hold down the V key. There we go. I just snapped it to close to the eye in order to snap to a vertex just to get close. And so now we've got one eye that's almost good. Now just sort of nudge it into place. And imagine this is going to look a little cartoony as an octopus. And then we could multiply this times negative um, one, or we could just do this and just rotate it a little bit into place. And then um, combine these geometries, um, just shift select all of them and combine. And now we should just easily be able to bridge between these pieces of geometry. So bridge, there we go. Um, really, I don't want that many divisions. If we want more of a tentacle type of eye, maybe two or three. The other thing is if it comes in twisted, you might need to do a bridge offset a little bit to twist the bridge. There we go. And so maybe if I just twist this piece of geometry a little bit, so I'm converting that selection. All right, so yeah. And now we've got this octopus. Okay, I mean, I would, I would sort of, if we smooth this, you know, he's got these bulbous looking eyes. I would, in looking at pictures, pictures of octopi, I would sort of work on this a little bit more and probably make the mouth a little bit more nudged to the front. Right now it's sort of a mouth, but at the same time, which we don't like. There we go. So we'll just nudge this more towards the front and angle it out. If we wanted to, we could add some additional edge loops here and sort of just nudge that out a little bit. It's just so it doesn't look like a robot octopus. All 
Okay. Oh, that's a basic octopus for this example. So now we want these tentacles to move, and that's what we're going to deal with in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.